Hospitals across the country seeing a spike in cases of a dangerous respiratory virus known as RSV. Good evening. I'm Ryan Nimamoto. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Cases of RSV doubled in 25 states over the past month. The common respiratory illness lands tens of thousands of young children in the hospital each year. Joining us live now is Dr. David Cornfield, the Chief of Pulmonary Medicine at Stanford Children's Health. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure is mine. Can you explain to us what RSV is and how it's different from the common cold or even COVID? Sure, RSV is a very common virus. It was discovered first in about 1956, and it is prevalent across the globe. 50% of all children are infected with RSV by the time they're a year old, and virtually every child on the planet has been infected with it by the time they're three years old. So it's really a rite of passage for every child. And I think that what we're seeing now is a significant result of the isolation that COVID has prompted us all to undertake. So when you have RSV, describe to me the symptoms and how it's different than, than the common cold or, or, or COVID, because it is tricky to tell the difference when you're coughing, you're miserable, you don't feel good. What makes RSV different in terms of symptoms? Well, the, the symptoms are uh, very similar to other viral infections. Uh, and for kids, it can be a runny nose, uh, itchy eyes, uh, relatively low-grade fever, a cough, wheeze, uh, and generally uh, more rapid breathing. And those are the fundamental symptoms that, that are associated with RSV. And if your child has this, I mean, yeah, I've got two little boys at home. We almost always have some sort of runny nose or a cough. At what point do you say, I need to call the doctor, I need to get my child into, or maybe even the hospital? So just to reassure all your viewers, RSV is super common, as I've argued. Virtually every kid gets it. So RSV in and of itself is not a big deal. Um, and I would urge people to go see the doctor or bring them in when they feel like their child is no longer behaving like their child. Mm -hmm. uh, if they're just got significant malaise, if they won't eat, if they have a high temperature, if they're not interested in their surroundings at all. And, you know, when you think your child is really sick, then it's time to seek medical attention. If you think your child just has a run-of-the-mill cold and is suffering as kids do with colds, then I think there's no reason to seek further medical attention. Um, you, alluded, you alluded earlier, doctor, to the fact that we're all coming out of isolation. Do you so, so do you think that RSV is coming earlier in the season because, frankly, we've all taken off our masks? I, no, I think that we're in the middle of a really phenomenally interesting and arguably vexing natural biological experiment. We have spent the last three years not seeing these viruses. As I've told you, normally kids get this virus early in life. Now we have three years of children that have not had this virus uh, and we're seeing the results of that now as more and more people are seeing the virus. And I think it's not just true for respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, it's true for other viral infections as well. I don't think anyone can tell you exactly what's gonna happen in the coming months, but I think most experts believe that there's gonna be a significant increase in viral infections and hospitalizations for kids as a result of that. But just remember, most of these viral infections are very innocent and most children, the vast majority of children do exceedingly well. All right, Dr. David Cornfield, Chief of Pulmonary Medicine at Stanford Children's Health. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Pfizer could start charging up to $130 per dose for its COVID-19 vaccines once the Fed stop buying them early next year. But most people should still be able to get that shot for free. The Affordable Care Act requires insurers to fully cover many recommended vaccines. The drug maker says it also has an income-based assistance program.